what an excellent way to start off the Christmas vlog. Loading up wheels and tires for the BRZ and realizing they sent us the wrong freaking size. I ordered four 255.35s. They sent two 255.35s and two 245.40s. Damn, that sucks. Change your plans. We're running different tires. All right, before we go ahead and slap on new wheels onto the BRZ, which I'm super excited for, today is officially the last day to get entered in to win the TE37s that we're giving away. All the info will be linked down below, $20 buy-ins. Entries end tonight, midnight Pacific Standard Time. You cannot get entered anytime after that. Today's the last day, guys. If you don't know why we're giving these things away, it is to help out my brother Cameron, who is going through cancer right now. My mission, I'm on a mission to pay for all of his medical bills, Pay for his life for a while while he goes through all the cancer treatments. First thing down below, $20 buy-ins. You can buy as many as you want. There's also a donation link that I'll have linked down below. If you do not want to get entered into Win the Wheels and you just want to help out. So today we are installing some rays onto the BRZ. Yesterday we got it slammed on some Silver's coilovers. As you guys saw, we were sent the wrong tire size. Thankfully, we have 18 inch tires on the car. They're not ideal. They are a 21540, which is pretty narrow. There is going to be quite a bit of stretch, which I was trying to stay away from, but that's the only option we have right now. These are 18 by 9.5 plus 38, and they are my favorite wheel ever. I've ran them multiple, multiple times. You guys already know what they are. Let's go ahead and open them up and check them out. These are different than what I'm used to. These are a 57 Extreme Spec D. I don't really know the difference. One thing right off the bat that honestly I'm not a huge fan of is they have like some little pockets right here. I know the regular 57 Extreme does not, but I don't even know if they make them anymore. Regardless though, that's pretty minor. These things are still so freaking beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna do a quick test fit. So let's get this car higher up, pull off a wheel, slap on a new wheel and see how they fit. Of course, was initially gonna go for a meteor fitment with the 255s, but now it's gonna be like a stance boy, which is what it is. Oh yes, so freaking proper, so beautiful. Black on white can never go wrong. Ha oh, man, I'm excited. These things are gonna look insane. So we gotta pop these tires off their 215 4018 Michelin Pilot Sport 4. One thing different on this car than any other car that I own is the TPMS sensors have to go in the same exact wheel. Every other car just says if you have a low tire. This car actually tells you which wheel and tire it actually is. So let's go ahead and get these tires peeled off of here. You gotta pull out the TPMS sensors and we can go ahead and get everything swapped onto the new 57 Extremes.
tires are mounted and balanced a little more stretch than i would like but that is the only option we had if we wanted to order new tires it would have been a very 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 long wait being the holidays probably a few weeks at minimum you already know no new wheel install is complete without a fresh coat of avalon king ceramic coat so that is what we're gonna do real quick let's go ahead and get these things cleaned up get them coated i always do two coats and then we can get these things on the car and see how they fit hopefully they look good i think they will This thing is gonna look so dang good, boys. Let's lower it down and see what we gotta adjust. The rear's clear, pretty good. Being that they're so stretched. Yeah, the rears we don't have to do anything with. We can leave the car as low as it is right now not gonna rub at all. The front, it looks like we have positive camber on it. We definitely do. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of negative camber because right now the wheel is kind of sticking like that. Well, my dudes, this right here is the final look. We got fitment on point. Hardly any camber, which was what I was after. Kind of glad that the tires didn't work out. 255s would have been very, very difficult to fit on this thing. We'd have to raise it quite a bit. It looks cool. I can really, really appreciate how this thing turned out. Damn, look at this shot right here. Ah, oh, that's so good. The rear, for some reason the rear gives me like three, like this angle right here is like 370Z vibes. I don't know why. Not really sure why, that's just, when I see this now, I'm like, hmm, kind of looks like a 370. This thing's looking insane, my, my friends. Dang. Definitely my all-time favorite monoblock wheel. Single, single one-piece wheel. Gotta be the 57 Extremes. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick string alignment. Just get that toe zeroed out so we don't completely destroy these tires. This should be really close already because we don't have any sort of camber on the car. Rear's completely natural, which is cool. Front, we had to add a little bit, but it just matches the rear now, which is nice. I was worried that we would have to cut and do some trimming right here, but as you can see, I can get my whole entire hand in here, so that should be good. Yeah, quick string alignment. All we're gonna do is set up a jack stand at each corner, run string along the whole entire car, and zero out the toe. I don't think we're gonna have to adjust the rear at all. I could be wrong, but the front, we're gonna have to definitely tweak a little bit. The rears look beautiful. The front is towed out just a little bit. So that's the back of the wheel. The front is touching about a quarter inch gap between the string and the wheel on the back side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the fronts towed in just a little bit. We should be good. We got her off the lift. Here is how she turned out. Not bad at all. She's coming along, my friends. Definitely coming along.
I just went ahead and measured it out. The front is currently sitting a half inch lower than the rear. I think the rear I like better, plus the rear coilovers are completely maxed out. If we wanted to go lower, we'd have to get new lower control arms, which I don't really want to do right now. I'm not trying to make this like a complete stance car like the FRS. I'm gonna raise the front a half inch to match the rear. Other than that, this thing is ready to go. Unfortunately, we can't go drive the car because with ceramic coat, you gotta let it cure for at least two days before you get any water on it. And it's been raining all day. So no driving the good old BRZ for a few days. Got out that ceramic coat, fully cure up, harden up. If we get water on it, it's gonna destroy it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm stoked with how it came out. If you want these exact wheels, I'll link them down below. I don't know if I ever mentioned the specs. They are, of course, five on 100, 18 by 9.5 plus 38, raised Grand Light 57 Extremes, spec D with a 215, 40, 18, just a stock Michelin tire mounted up on there. Last thing we need to do is order up the center caps. I always forget every time you order like real wheels, rays, works, anything of the sort, they do not include center caps. You gotta pay extra money to get those, which is pretty absurd, wouldn't you say? So get some uh, center caps on here, probably some black lugs, cause the uh, stock ones are a little bit, a little bit out there. The chromies are a little out there. So some black lug center caps. And in the future, I'll probably go to a wider tire whenever I can get my hands on a set of like 245 35s. That's the end goal. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. By the way, Merry Christmas. I know you guys are watching this probably on Christmas Day is when I'm gonna upload it. Merry Christmas to all you guys. Hope you get some, uh, some dope presents in the mail, some turbos, some wheels, and get to spend a lot of time with your family. That is what I'm about to go do. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Peace out. I'll see you guys in a couple days.